Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Having a good follow through and a good balance is really important to create a powerful and solid golf swing, okay? So, in order to complete our golf swing, after making contact with the ball, the swing doesn't end here. In order to complete the swing, you got to make sure you complete the turn, okay? So today, I would like to show you how I would like your follow through to look like and also some follow throughs that I see in some students and hopefully some tips that will help you to create a better follow through and a pretty finished. All right, I'm gonna start off with talking how I would like for your follow through to look like. So imagine there's a wall over here, right? So I'm gonna have a line right outside my left foot, okay? So, after making contact with the ball, after impact position, we gotta make sure that our both arms are fully extended, hip, hip and chest starting to turn towards the target, and then eventually the club will be right behind my head or my neck. Weight 90% on the left side, you will feel the weight is more towards the outer part of your left foot, right heel off the ground, with the bottom of your right shoe pointing that way, okay? So just gotta make sure you finish the turn, all right? As you can see, my hip is somewhat on the line, but my chest is actually behind the line, all right? So we gotta make sure after our both arms fully extended, when we finish, hip on the line, chest behind, weight on the left side, 90% on the left side, right heel off the ground, and make sure you keep your balance, okay? This is how I would like for your follow through to look like. Some of the common follow-throughs that I see in some of my students or also some golfers are so imagine the line here again I see some people follow through with avoiding the line okay so the hip is actually away from the from the line or I see people sometimes hanging behind weight is still on the right side or some people will have a bent elbow that's what we call chicken wings or some people try to scoop the ball in order to finish the follow through right we see a lot of different kind of follow through but some people make some people actually work it out and still be able to play with it but today i will share some tips that hopefully will help you follow through better all right this is a drill that you can work at home as well or even though before you play which is i would like for you to stand against a wall okay stand against a wall with your right foot just the outer right foot touching the wall cross your arms get into a setup position all right just gotta make sure when you take your back swing as if you guys have watched a lot of my videos i like to talk about having your left hip pushing towards the left side and then rotating towards the back okay so it's gonna look from this angle good back swing slight push and then rotate the left hip backwards all right so you can practice at home which is try to make sure you get to a good fully backswing turn and then just push your hip against the wall and rotate all right just make sure you finish your turn all right just left hip always go behind doesn't mean you bum just make sure you don't push past the line or you can put an alignment stick or if you have a wall great because the wall will actually stop you from bumping it too much right so just gotta make sure turn bump the hip left hip go behind you, right? This is one drill that will help you work on your follow through. All right, the next tip will be, I would like for you to use your club and this we're gonna create some awareness um, to get the body to understand how I want the follow through to feel like, okay? So I would like for you to set up at an impact position over here. From here, don't use your hand to scoop or try to lift up with your elbow. I would like for you to use your hip, use your chest and push through and both arm extend, okay? So that will force your chest and body to turn towards the target, all right? Again, impact position from here, I would like for you to use the body power, the chest and push through and come up. Gotta make sure that my left leg is fully extended, both arms straight out, chest and hip pointing towards the target. Weight is about, at this point, weight is about maybe 80% on the left side, okay? So that's one drill. And the other one is something that I really like, okay? I would like for you guys to make sure you know how it feels at the follow through. That means at this position, all right? So start from this position, both arm extended, cut face pointing behind you, chest and hip face towards the target, right heel off the ground. Okay, at this position, I would like for you to swing the club back all the way to 
this 90 degree position over here. Okay, I call it the L shape, or you can imagine that your left arm, if you're right-handed, your left arm will be pointing at nine o'clock at this position, and then swing it back to this position. Okay, so this will actually make your body understand how you want it to feel. But of course, you can't do these drills with the ball. Yeah, just practice it at the driving range before you hit balls. Right? Again, I'm going to show it to you. Club pointing at your target. Okay, fully turn and swing the club back to 90 degree and then swing it back to your follow through position. Just gotta make sure that you keep your balance, okay? All right guys, the arm and the body needs to complement each other to create a really good follow through and of course a pretty looking finish, right? So I hope that these few tips will be able to help you achieve a nice follow through and of course hopefully it will help you gain some distance and of course hitting the ball, ball flight that you want as well. If you guys do like this video, give me a like Leave me a comment if you have any question and I'll see you guys again soon.